Good morning. How is everybody? Can I hear a good morning? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad we're all together. It's been like two years, too long, two years too long. It's 14 years that we've had patient day. And uh, every time that I stand up here, I'm, I'm humbled. I'm so grateful. I look behind me and I think of 32 countries that we represent now, the foundation. And I remember starting out, and I think we had one American flag behind me. I don't even think there was a flag behind me. I was sitting at a small table with six doctors going, how are we going to do this? And a lot of those very amazing docs um, are still here today in the room, as are all of you. So I just want to thank you so much. And um, there's an interesting, I thought, you know, I'm always thinking of what I want to talk about. And I, I was looking at it. We all go to conferences, and we wear those name tags. And I was thinking about my name tag. If it didn't just say Victoria, it would probably say Warrior. Um, I don't know. How many of you worry in here? Anybody? You have rinse? Yeah. OK, I kind of think that we all probably share that a little bit. And I think NMO can make us worry even more so, um, because we worry about the caregivers that are in here. We worry about our loved ones. Um, as patients, we worry about, you know, God forbid, are we going to have that next attack? We worry about, are we taking the right medications? We, we worry about what our tomorrow is going to look like or our today. Um, there's, I could go on and on about the, the list of what we worry about. But then I was thinking about, when I think about worry and things that I've done, I know that worry, and think about this, worry weighs more when we carry it alone. And this is a day that it's really about not just carrying that alone. It's about being here in this room with shared people that have shared experiences to help everybody lift each other up. This afternoon, you're going to be going into different sessions where you're going to learn everything about diet and nutrition and meditation and learning more about the science of what you have and being your own advocate. Um, there's so many people that are involved in the foundation now in this global worldwide effort that are very passionate about it. And what's amazing, I mean, honestly, guys, I was crying this morning when I walked across the hall. And I just saw a room with pharmaceutical like banners up and three therapies. I mean, when I started this a long time ago, um, I couldn't even have, I, would, I could imagine, but it, we weren't there yet. I, it was really that imagination and that faith that we were going to someday that I would be able to walk across the hall and see some therapies that we now have. And it's not perfect. We've got a ways to go because right now I'm all about, you saw our tagline, it's about being courageous. I'm going for the cure. I've said that from the beginning. I mean, right now we're, you know, a lot of you are on some of these new medications, old medications, but they're all immune suppressants. And I'm like, let's cure this. You know, let's, let's, let's cure this, right? <laughs> so, um, and all of you being here today are doing that. So that's really an important part. It's about, I always say, perseverance is where the gods dwell. I put that in the book that I wrote with Dr. Michael Yeaman about persevering. That, uh, and I'm, I'm actually working on a book right now. It's called Warrior to Warrior, How to Persevere Against All Odds. Because that's what we have to do. And I talked a minute ago just about faith. This isn't me preaching about, I do believe you have to have faith. And I think that that's, faith looks differently for everybody, whether it's your religious belief, your, your Buddhist philosophies, whatever that is, you have to really try to live in that and have faith, as well as doing things, taking action, thinking about that next step. I talk a lot of, to a lot of patients that are telling me that they don't know what to do. They become immobilized. And we already know this is a condition that can really immobilize you. So you have to always think about that next step. And not just, as I say, visit faith, but really live in faith that we're going to find a cure, that when we're all together and we're courageous together and stronger together, we're going to get there. 
So that's really what this day is all about, is being together. You're gonna have amazing access to a panel of doctors, very loyal doctors that have been here from the beginning that are gonna tell you about where we are in the world of NMO and research and where we're gonna to continue to go. Um, I have to thank a lot of people that always show up every year. The foundation that has been with me from the beginning and the people that have been there from day one. Jacinta Bene, who you all know. Dr. Um, I mean, from, from day one, these are the people that are showing up and helping do the work every day. Dr. Michael Yeaman, who honestly, um, with, without, without Dr. Michael Yeaman, I would not be standing here. Um, he is really the guiding light through all of this. So I'm so grateful to him, to Dan Benny, to uh, Megan and Corey Wolf and Renee and our entire team, uh, Lisa McDaniel. I know I'm gonna forget everyone, but I'm gonna mention everybody's name today before we leave. And um, they, they really, I couldn't do this without all of them. And I couldn't do it with all of you. You are the heroes, by the way, that when we, because now we can walk across the hall and see these other companies, um, you were signing up for these clinical trials that a lot of you, you know, you didn't know. You know, you, you, were, you were, talk about taking faith, you were really taking leaps of faith, not knowing how are these new drugs gonna go? What are some of these side effects gonna be? I mean, so when I look at it and I see now Wow, my name has changed from warrior to warrior. You guys are all warriors. You've shown up today, you're taking your steps, your first steps, many of you have been here many, many times. For those of you that are brand new, we welcome you with open arms, with big hugs. I wanna thank, personally, my two boys. I'm gonna get choked up. I'd like them to stand up because I'm grateful to my son, Evan, and my son, Jackson. Stand up, you two. <laughs> they, it's perfect, they don't really listen to their mother, but you understand. <laughs> but anyway, I'm very grateful to my family. That has been my guiding light. My daughter, people ask how Allie is doing. Uh, Allie, we did have, she said that I could talk about it. She did have a rough couple of years uh, during COVID. She did have some attacks, but we navigated it. I think a lot of times people think that um, because, you know, uh, maybe I, I have the golden pill that Allie takes or there's some magic. I wish that were so. If I did, I'd share it with everyone in this room. But we will have that. But she's doing, she's doing well. She's traveling. She started. She was, it's hard to imagine she was ever not tall. But um, she just graduated law school, passed the bar, and is traveling in Europe right now. <coughs> so, so, yeah. So, and I can tell you from watching her, um, I get really choked up. She, she has such a, what keeps me going is the way she walks through the world. She's, um, she's very positive and she doesn't let anything get her down. And I watched her take her bar exams with an IV in her arm. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on guys, we all have our challenges, but I watch how, we, how she did it. It keeps me going. And I just always want to, um, to pass that along to all of you. So I'll get my crying out now, and then we'll raise the energy up. <laughs> and I'm just so grateful that all of you are here today. So please enjoy it. And we've got, uh, by the way, we have a great conversation later this afternoon. My very dear friend, when we come back from the break, uh, Amy Mullins has an incredible story and uh, we're gonna have a conversation together that's really about living courageously and uh, resilience. We can all benefit from that. So thank you again so much, and God bless. Okay. Yeah.